What's up everyone Tech Cloud here and in this video I'm going to talk about the two highlights of the LG G4 camera. The first one is the laser autofocus and the other one is the color spectrum sensor. I'm enjoying uh, taking photos uh, with the LG G4 ever since I have uh, got the phone. And uh, to me the main highlight uh, of the camera which is marketed by LG is the laser autofocus and the color spectrum sensor. So I was actually curious that how well both these feature uh, work because on paper they look pretty good. So let's see whether in practical uh, shooting is there any difference uh, if these uh, aids are not available. This is totally non-scientific test and uh, from regular user uh, perspective I'm going to test the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first shot regularly and in the second shot I'm going to cover the sensor using my finger. In this first test uh, I'm going to check the laser autofocus uh, sensor and as you can see at the moment I'm uh, holding the LG G4 regularly and it is able to focus uh, fine. Now I'm going to cover the laser autofocus sensor and as you can see the phone is having a little bit of trouble in uh, autofocusing and as I remove my finger from the sensor it can again focus uh, nicely. So in tricky situations the autofocus does struggle without the laser autofocus sensor. Don't fool yourself that uh, this laser autofocus has uh, made the camera blazing fast in terms of autofocusing speed because in low lighting conditions at time the phone does struggle in uh, focusing and this results uh, in lag while you are shooting and your subject can move uh, during this uh, process. For example these shots I actually took in fairly decent lighting conditions although not uh, low light and not either the bright light but uh, still the focusing was not uh, that quick and as you can see some shots are blurry and on some shots actually it has misfocused and it has focused in the background. In this second test I'm going to take first shot regularly and in the second shot I'm going to cover the color spectrum sensor and uh, I will see what are the differences in terms of the color and the white balance in the post. As you can see right away on the screen I don't feel uh, much difference at all in terms of white balance or the colors. So these are the shots that I actually took uh, during uh, this test and uh, in the first shot actually I didn't uh, notice much difference but when I closely inspected the images I found a very little and very subtle difference as you can see the yellows and the goldens on uh, this particular photo is little bit uh, more uh, richer on the photo where I was not actually covering the sensor but rest of the shots does not actually show any difference at all. So I was wondering whether this uh, color spectrum sensor is uh, effective or it's just a marketing gimmick. Since the practical results were telling me that it is not that effective, so I researched and I found that uh, there is a possibility that this sensor is the infrared sensor and uh, not all the infrared light is blocked by my finger and some of the infrared uh, light can go actually inside the sensor and it can still detect. The result of this uh, second test I feel is inconclusive and there is a possibility that this sensor is contributing towards the better photos. However, I don't feel that the difference uh, should be that huge uh, which was uh, presented by LG during the launch event. So guys I hope that you have liked the video and if you have liked it make sure to press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video. Take care and I will see you later. Bye.